Welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about three phase half bridge converter design and simulation in LT Spice. We will understand how will you design three phase half bridge converter in LT Spice and then how the circuit works, what is your design requirement, okay, and how will you design the transformer, how will you design the gate driving, and how this three phase basically half bridge converter generate how will you how will you generate the three phase source in lt spice then what is the operation of half bridge converter how half bridge converter works okay so friends please join the channel membership by clicking on this join button okay so once you click on the join button you will get different options here and you can join the channel membership and you can support this channel now let us understand the design of half bridge three phase half bridge converter how will you design how will you create a schematic and how this circuit works this is going to be very interesting video because you you will not find any video which explain about the three phase half bridge converter okay so let me start with your design requirement so your design requirement is 230 volt vrms and your output is 8 volt 10 amps that means 80 watt and you can see here i have created three three power source that is l1 l2 and l3 let me right click on it and let me show you how i have created the power source so this is sinusoidal pulse and you can see the amplitude here is 230 volt frequency is 50 hertz and you can see is theta is 0 phi is 0 and t delay is 0 so this is your l1 and let me show you now l2 so right click on l2 and you can see the amplitude is 230 like frequency is 50 hertz and now you can see your phi are your phi is 120 degree so for l2 your your phi is 120 degree and let let me show you the l3 so you can see l3 230 50 and your phi again is 240 so that is how that is how you will create your three phase power source okay i named these three phase power source here a b and c you can see and uh, right now you can see here after the three phase of power source you have the bridge rectifier which rectifies your three phase system okay so these mur460 you can see here i have i have connected six diode like this and here you will get your pulsating dc so you can see this this the <coughs> The value of this capacitor is 1000 microfarad. Now, since this is the half bridge topology, half bridge converter, so this whole voltage I have divided, I have connected here to, to divide this total voltage by 2. So, voltage across this capacitor would be like C3 by 2, and the voltage across C2 equals to c3 by 2 whatever voltage c3 is having the the half of the voltage will appear across c1 and the half of the voltage will appear across c2 now you can see here now you can see here this is two mosfet right this is two mosfet m1 and m2 and you can see your transformer is connected uh, you can see at this dot point so this is your transformer one end is connected to the source of m1 and your transformer other one is connected here at the junction of c1 and c2 capacitance okay so this is your transformer let us say primary winding and now you can if you talk about the gate driving of m1 this mosfet m1 and the gate driving of this mosfet m2 so this is very interesting to understand how will you give the gate drive of this these two mosfet so since this mosfet is high side driver okay uh, you can see here your your drain is directly connected to the power power source so this is the high side driver so you can see 
जो वी जी वन आई एम गिविंग द ड्राइविंग फॉर दिस मॉस्फेट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वी जी वन एंड वी पी वन एंड सिंस दिस इज हाई साइड ड्राइवर इफ यू इफ यू सी हियर द वोल्टेज वुड बी वेरी हाई सो लेट मी शो यू हियर हाउ आई एम गिविंग द गेट ड्राइविंग फॉर एम वन एंड वी पी वन सो इफ यू कम बैक हियर सो वॉट आई हैव डन इज आई हैव डिफाइन द ड्यूटी साइकिल डॉट पैरम ड्यूटीज लेटस से ड्यूटीज 0.5 that means 50% on time and 50% off side time now you can see here the frequency which i am driving to this mosfet is 60 kilohertz and since you cannot drive these two mosfet at the same time that is why i have given the dead time of 20 nanosecond so there is a dead time between these this vg1 and vg2 these two gate pulse i have to completely reset the voltage of your primary winding your primary winding that is why i am giving here yeah, the dead time of 20 nanosecond otherwise your your switch may get shorted together okay so how now let us see how i have created the voltage source this vg1 and vp1 so you can see here this is vg1 and this is vp1 and i'll be connected these two to the gate and the source of this m1 mosfet so if you right click on this l5 source so you can see here this initial value zero on is 10 volt and now you can see rise time one fall time one nanosecond and you can see here the on time is duty cycle divide by f minus dead time that is your on time and your total period is 1 minus f divide by dead time so this is this is your vg1 and vp1 i'll run the simulation and i'll show you how this source uh, looks like so this is basically a high side driver now we have this m2 mosfet and this is called a, this is needed uh, a low side driver this needed a low side driver so you can see here i have given vg2 with reference to the ground if you click on it you can see here the delay is duty cycle divided by frequency rise 1 nano fall 1 nano and you can see on time is 1 minus duty divided by f into dead minus dead and t period is 1 divided by f minus dead that is how i am creating a high side and low side low side gate driver for hub bridge converter okay so this is high side gate driver you have seen this is low side gate driver you see now let us come to the inductor l4 okay the inductance value for this simulation i kept 50 milli henry okay and you can see the value of c3 is 1000 c1 is 100 micro farad c2 is 100 micro farad you can increase these two value to up to 1000 micro farad and then you can see m1 and m2 i use the same mosfet stp 8 and m60 now let us come to the secondary side of your hub bridge converter okay so now you can see here this is another this is inductor and now i am coupling these two inductors so there is a two binding of your secondary side here so l7 and l8 i am uh, connected together l7 and l8 so if you go and look any data sheet how hub bridge converter connected together at the output you can see here at this junction you have the ground and you are taking the output from this point okay so you can see since the output of the transformer is a uh, pulsating dc that could be so i want to rectify that output of this transformer i i want to create a pure dc here that is why you can see here i have used two diode d6 and d8 okay and then i have connected one inductor l9 and one capacitance so this is very high value and you can see here this 800 milliohm this is the what is this this is the load okay okay so so you need to understand here how will you couple l4 and this this two inductor okay so for that i have using the coupling factor 
K L four L seven L eight and one. So I'm considering here the ideal transformer. That is why I have I have chosen the coupling factor as one. And if you are going to simulate like some losses in the transformer, you can use the coupling factor even less than one. Okay. Now, how will you decide the turn ratio for this transformer? Okay. So the turn ratio L four divided by L seven equal to n four n four number of turns divided by n seven or equal to n four divided by n eight. So you can see here this is fifty milli milli. Henry and at the secondary you can see L7 is 550 micro Henry and L8 is 550 micro Henry. So if you want to calculate the turns ratio, N4 divided by N7 equal to square root of L4 divided by L7 and square root of L4 divided by L8. That is how you can calculate your turns ratio. <coughs> okay, so I've explained you about like starting from here how will you create the three phase power source then how will you rectify then how will you connect these capacitor these capacitor are very important then how will you drive uh, the gate driver how will you design the gate driver for these two mosfet okay you can see here these two gate driver here and now how will you define the inductance and turns ratio for this Half bridge converter and then rectifier stays at secondary, and you can see the one inductor for and one capacitance for filtering and uh, to supply the current to the load. That is how you will design your three phase converter. Now, what I'll do is I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the different voltage waveform, right? So, you can see here <coughs> this is the Simulation time is 200 millisecond. That is quite high and your simulation is running a quite late Maybe I'll run the reduce the simulation time to two cycle that is 40 to show you So it's very slow guys because I have connected the lots of component So you can see the response is quite slow and you can see bang on now this is your three phase power source how your three phase power source is generating you can see here that i am considering at the moment is two cycle that means the 40 millisecond you can see that is how your three phase system is generating since it is taking much time i'll show you the dc voltage at the same time here how will you getting the dc voltage and how much is your dc voltage okay so you can see here this is va that is blue your power source one this is vb your second source l2 and this is vc your third source in red now you can see how they are how three phase system you can generate in alt spice and after the bridge rectifier after the rectification you can see here you are getting almost two how much is it is 230 around 230 voltage across this you can see guys this is your sign signal and after the rectification you can see this is your pulsating dc and it has it has some ripple you if you 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 can see here right now this is the stage one now let let me show you how your gate driver so in order to check the pulse at vg1 and vp1 you need to connect here okay so let me do it like that let me remove this right let me how can i delete this okay now let me delete it from here let me run again the simulation and let me tile window vertically and let me show you the voltage here you can see and let me show so you the voltage this as well so now you can see here the two voltage source right this is your two voltage source which is driving your gate right this is your gate driver let me show you guys how this two voltage source are looks like okay so you can see this is 10 10 volt pulse with the 60 kilohertz frequency and you can see when your vg1 and vg1 and vp1 is blue is on other one is off when this green is on your blue is off let me show you the date time so that you will understand further 
okay so you can see here the dead time between two pulse this is your on pulse when it is coming down you can see your dead time between this when vg2 is coming on you can see there is a dead time that is why i have defined the dead time to discharge the primary voltage or primary current uh, completely so this is your dead time now let me show you the voltage somewhere across this grinding you can see so let me delete let you can see here yes bingo you can see guys how your voltage here you can see uh, it looks like let me uh, increase the time here maybe 100 millisecond for the sake of simulation and let me show you like how it looks like it is taking since the simulation time is bingo it won't curse okay so now you can see your simulation is increasing but you can see here right you can see the pulse across your transformer it is 0 to 230 volt okay okay now let me show you the pulse here at the secondary so you can see here the pulse at the secondary and let me show you the pulse at this pulse okay this pulse and this pulse together so that you can understand you can see here guys there is a when other one is on the next one is off like that you can see here okay you can see here the sub switching transition here right you can see and now let me go and let me show you the output voltage output current and output power so this is your output voltage let me show you the output current and let me show you the output power so all three things you will see here on in this window so this vo blue one is your output voltage and then this green one is your output current you can see and your red one is the power jet so you can see i ran the simulation for 100 millisecond now and now you can see all the three parameters that is output voltage output current or load current and the output power if i click on somewhere here you can see the output voltage is eight around eight volt okay and you can see the output current is around 10 amps and if you talk about the power it is coming around 80.75 watt so you can understand these three points right guys this is your output voltage which is 8 volt this is your output current this is 10 amps and this is out output power so i haven't tested in actual prototype this is only for simulation and education purpose okay if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video guys